Hi Audacious Church, welcome to another devotional. Good job for just taking some time to read the Word of God and just make some space to listen to what he's saying to you today. My name is Hannah Redkins, I'm one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and today I want to share a thought from John 11. But before we dive into the Bible, I would like to dive into Lord of the Rings. Oh yes, stay tuned. Don't turn this off if you're not a big fan of The Lord of the Rings. It's just a quote from one of the movies that I want to pick out of, first of all. I was watching Fellowship of the Rings and Frodo, a young hobbit, one of the characters, looks at Gandalf, the old wise wizard. And he accusingly says, Gandalf, you are late, because he was expecting him earlier. And Gandalf, in his wise way, looks back at Frodo and says, a wizard is never late, nor is he early. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Now, I hate people being late. I hate being late myself. But this quote made me think while I was watching the movie, have you ever felt like God is late? What do you do when you feel like God is late? What do you do when you feel like you're waiting for a miracle and the time that the miracle should have happened has past. Now let's jump into the Bible. John 11 is the account of Lazarus um, and more to the point him dying. Mary and Martha are Lazarus's sisters and Jesus is away at the time and the sisters send word to Jesus to say our brother is dying. He is so sick. He is ill and Jesus actually says I'll be there in a few days. He doesn't come immediately. He actually goes about his business of where he is. And you probably know the account, Lazarus dies. Jesus gets there and Martha runs to Jesus. And in verse 21, she says this, Jesus, if you had been here, this wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have died. In other words, Jesus, you are late. Jesus then says, go and get your other sister. And Mary runs to Jesus, not knowing probably what Martha said, also says, Jesus, where were you? If you had been here, my brother would still be alive. In other words, Jesus, you are late. There's been times in my personal life where I've been waiting on a miracle in my body for a healing or me and my husband have been waiting for a miracle in our finances or in our family. And there's been times where we've had faith for a miracle and we feel like God is late. We look at it and we say, we had faith for this to happen in this way, for the money to come through at this time, for the sickness to get not get this bad, for this family situation to be resolved in this way. God, you are late. But today, in today's devotion, I want to tell you this powerful truth that God is never late. God is never late. He can't be because he is the beginning and the end. He's with you now, he was with you and he'll always be with you. God is never late. In the words of Gandalf, he is precisely, turns up precisely when he means to. We know in this scripture, in John 11, what actually happens is Jesus goes to the tomb with the two sisters, with all of the mourners. And even the sisters, when Jesus says, open the tomb, they say, oh God, he is, he's been gone a while now. Like the odor is going to be pretty bad. And Jesus says, open the tomb. And then Jesus prays to God, the father and says, for your glory, this is for your glory. And then he calls. Lazarus, come out. You can almost feel in the scripture, everyone take a deep breath, bracing themselves for even either the miraculous to happen or the disappointment. And Lazarus walks out. This amazing moment where everyone looks at Jesus and understands God is never late. And at the end of the chapter, in verse 43, there's this amazing moment where Jesus looks at Lazarus, his friend, wrapped up in, in the cloth that they wrap him in, in, in the tomb. And he says, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Oh, so much in this scripture. But what I want you to take away today is God is never late. 
maybe you've had faith for a miracle and you feel like, oh, it's past the time it should have happened is past i want to tell you god is never late it's not too late for your marriage it's not too late in your sickness it's not too late in that financial financial situation god is never late don't attach terms and conditions and small print to your faith but just say god i trust you in your sovereignty i trust you in your timing i trust you in your ways he's the beginning and the end so i don't know where you find yourself today but I want to tell you that God is there. Jesus is there. He is never late in your life. I want you to have faith to believe more than just in what your miracle should look like. But when you have faith to believe that God is coming, he is on his way. Your miracle is round the corner. Let me pray for you. So Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this scripture. We thank you that you are never late. We thank you that you're the beginning and the end. You're the God of the miracles. You're the God of the supernatural. But we don't place our faith in what we think our miracles should look like. We place our faith in you, in your sovereignty. We want our lives to be for your glory. So we just submit to that right now. We say, have your way. We love you. We are sorry for when we doubt you. We pray right now for every person listening to this. And watching this and reading this, we pray for faith to arise as they've heard the word of God today, for faith to be ignited in that situation, in that marriage, in that financial situation, in their jobs, God. We pray for faith to be ignited right now in Jesus' name. We believe in you. We know you're never late. We trust in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, church. Well, we love you so, so much. And uh, we're praying for you continuously. We're standing with you, believing for miracles in this season. See you really soon.